And hey, Lady Celtic Moon, how you doing? Yeah, it's working on Twitch. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. It's it doesn't seem to be working on YouTube today for some reason. So let me uh do an ORTs. Twitch says we're good to go. Uh-huh. Live now. Okay, YouTube is back, is upper is operational. Okay, everything seems to be back in order. Life is beautiful. <laughs> all right, everything is back in order. Life is beautiful. Seems that all the stuff is working. Boom. All right. So welcome to the digital bullpen episode two. I say episode 25, take two. Jeez. Uh, that that was that was wow. Wow, that was bad on my part. That was a bad moment, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for that. You know, it seemed like take two is a two is a take to go. What's up, trusty? Oh, hey, man. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I was uh, I was fighting with. Uh, what's up, purple gang? How you doing? Yeah, I was fighting. Apparently, it didn't go live on YouTube, but I went live everywhere else. So then uh -huh. I stream and uh, all right, Shinobi Raccoon, take your time. I had to stop the stream. <laughs> Find out what I why it wouldn't um, broadcast to YouTube and then start all over again. But it was it was working everywhere else, which is awesome. Okay, but everybody that knows us knows us on YouTube. Yeah, I went to the wrong link the first yeah. time. That that the right that link was the one when um, when it was streaming everywhere but YouTube. <sighs> oh, the unbreathable skunk girl! Wow, there's, there's that many dishes. There's a Manny Licious in the house. How you doing, Manny? I'm doing fine. I just yes. How you guys doing? Hey, you know, we're doing good. I, uh, I, 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 like I said, I, apparently I, I streamed everywhere but YouTube, so I had to cut the broadcast, start it again. <laughs> uh, you know, I thought I had said it perfectly, but apparently I did not. Alas, 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 the boomerang, the boomerang never stops. Well, what was different? Um, <laughs> well, what happened is, um, so one of the, I got two YouTube um, on my Restream my own, but one of them is dead. So I thought I took off the dead one, but apparently I took off the live one and left the uh -huh. dead one on. Um because I have one for YouTube events and one for YouTube go live now. And um, so I thought the events one was the one because it never updated the titles. I thought the events one was the dead link. So I took it off and it didn't go live. It's learning. It's a learning curve with Restream IO. It is, but it really does seem that um, StreamYard is the uh, utility of choice now yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for YouTube streams. I mean, it's it's simple to use. Oh, at the stream. There you go. Oh, man, he got two things going on. I got to teach him how to do the thing and thing. <laughs> oh, there's two things. Huh? Uh, get rid of the unbreathable skunk girl. Which one? The This one? Uh oh, at the stream. I took, I took Manny all the way out. Put that one. Which one you want on? The tablet or your tablet talking one. head? Tablet huh? one. Tablet one. All right, remove that one. There you go. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I want the tablet one put on the talking head takeaway. Okay, I'm gonna there have to we. teach you. I'm gonna have to teach you how to do the thing in jig, buddy. Cause let's see. Okay. So let's see what we can do now. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. So there you go. You're gonna be the main guy for now, because of the way uh, the way it's set up, it won't let me do it any other way. I gotta teach you how to do that. Uh, what I do with the OBS and the virtual cams, so we can all be showcased. Well, you know, I'm just practicing ink, so I don't really need to be showcased. You you got a campaign to run. Uh, that reminds me, I gotta send out the message that we're live. Oh man, that's great. I appreciate it. And Shinobi Raccoon says device is not connected. 
the guests will need to connect their mic cam before you can add them to the stream. All right. So there's that. There's that. I have to teach my brother how to do this too for his boxing streams. He's going to start doing boxing streams. He was having issues with OBS and the virtual cam. There you go. Shinobi Raccoon is good to go and add it to the stream. How you doing, Shinobi? All right. I'm just waiting for this drawing video I tried to work with to get done in exports and I can see how it went and I can upload it to YouTube at some point. Yeah. Well, that all depends. Well, the Remux shouldn't be too bad from that doesn't take any time from OBS is the right. rendering when you render yeah. it for an MP4 after you do the edits. That takes a while. That takes a while. Yeah. Getting the uh, time to getting the time lapse to mat to come close to matching was what took the longest. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see who we got. Because most most of the songs on YouTube that they let you use without any copyright issues, they're usually no more no more than three minutes long. Yep, I know. I just stretch them out. Oh, you can do that. I do that on the program. Okay. The software uh, I use, I just grab the end of the song and I just stretch it all the way to the end of the video and it just loops the song and repeats it. Or you oh. could just or you could huh. just import a whole bunch of songs and blend them in, do the fades in and out. That's that's another thing that I do. I do fades in and out with the songs. So So you don't mess with the speed or anything. For the songs? Nah. No, for the uh video. Uh no, the time lapse I do it on the iPad. Oh, because that's what I, that's what I do. I export the videos I do on the iPad, which already time lapsed. And right. Then, then I do the rest on my editing software. But this uh, software that I use, my editing software, will create a time lapse. Like I could condense a two-hour video into like fifteen minutes. Right. Yeah. And then you can just throw in the songs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do the songs afterwards after I put it in the editing program. Just to recon in his comments says, Sup, guys. What's up, Rod? Hey, Rod. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to hit the like button, share us. And if, you, if you're not subscribed, which I doubt it, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Not only to me, but to all this wonderful gentlemen in this channel. You know? <laughs> yeah. I got news that... I got some news from about Netflix. Um, for starters, there I'm sure maybe some of you heard that they're uh, bringing back He-Man. Yep. Yeah, we yeah that. Yeah, and Kevin Smith is Kevin Smith be the is the mm -hmm. And she and this uh, new Shiba reboot may be on its way out the door soon. Yeah. At least that's how I took it when I was watching Professor Geek's video on it. Things I never watch and probably will never watch. Uh, <laughs> just to recon says, yeah. just have to jump and support my buddies. He says, yes, that should be dope. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. So yeah. I just figured earlier today I do a, I do my version of Shira to bring in the occasion. Right. And that's what the drawing video was. You get it, brother. Shoot. It's not that hard, man. Hello, EM yeah. Stream, says Marcus Gibbons. What up, Marcus? Marcus, the, the best, the best uh, mod in the world. Going out and doing big things, man. Doing the big things. That's nice, man. Shoot. Have you put it out on the Twitterverse yet? Let's see. Let's see what you got going on. Let's see. We we go ahead ahead and bigger bigger five your screen. So we can cool. see what you're talking about. Yeah. You gotta yeah, there wasn't really that much of a difference between the original outfit. I just gave her a I just gave her a more uh, 
stylized cape, kind of like what Wonder Woman's been wearing as of late. I just gave her more of a helmet and something that resembles armor more. Right. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Looks good. Looks, looks good, good, man. Thanks. Looks good. Looks good. Let's see what trusty trusty's inking something. Oh, I got to add him to stream first. There he is. <laughs> Getting started on it. Uh, your your Wonder Woman inking's looking pretty good. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. I grabbed that from uh from Deviant Art. I asked the dude. He doesn't seem to mind. He's got a whole bunch of pencils. Ortiz, my wife is calling. Keep rocking. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I know. I know. I know how it goes, Rod. I know. I know. We don't. We don't get you for long, but at least we get you here for a minute. You know. And that's all that matters. Just all that matters. Well, everything seems to be working, so I'm going to uh, yeah. shut down any extra browsers. So. I don't get, you know, broad bandwidth issue. And uh that's always a good idea. Keeping up with this right here. Keep the chat open. Oh no, no, don't we'll leave the studio. Do not leave the studio. That's not what I meant to do. Oops. Okay. There you go. Boom. Do not leave the studio. Yeah, that's no bueno. That's no bueno. That is no bueno. That actually happened to me once when I was streaming. I had to do the entire thing all over again because I screwed up the. Uh... That actually happened to me once when I was. <laughs> I had to screw up the whole thing. Yeah, Chronos Care says I'm gonna I'm gonna idle and listen. All right, Chronos man, man, you've been doing some great videos with your um, uh, sure, I guess video game three D rendering. I don't know what to call it. I've been watching them. I guess I need to pay attention to what it is that you're calling it, man. But those are uh, it's looking amazing, dude. Cronus is, is gonna do some big things. I don't know when, but he's, he seems like he's gonna do it. Yeah. So far, so far, trusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly how, how I inked it too. So far. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Yeah. Nah. I just I like going, I like, going for the accuracy here. <laughs> no. No. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, hey, Trusty did some good stuff. Uh, let's um, I gotta put Manny back. Is Manny's not? Oh, took him out. Put him in. There you go. Put Manny back on there. Game Dev modules. There you go. <laughs> Cross it. Game Dev modules. Slick like Jimmy jumped in like on the pre. And then jumped out, didn't say a word. Oh. I was like, hmm. Like, came in, dipped out. I don't know. Maybe he was looking for Manny and didn't see Manny. Okay, so that's that's how it goes. All right. Yeah. yeah I, I don't know what happened, to be honest with you. He jumped in. I went to say hey, and he jumped right back out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> So yeah, in addition to the um, you know the possible news about Shira and um, and He Man, you know, it seems like everybody today is talking about how Disney and Sony, you know, they couldn't reach a deal to keep doing Spider Man in the MCU. What do you guys think about that? Nah, it is what it is on that one too. Yeah, like that's kind of sad to me, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, to begin with, things aren't really looking good for the MCU now that Endgame's done. Yeah, I think uh, I think, and uh, what I've always what I've been saying for a while is that uh, that the MCU is going like like Marvel went great at the beginning, got a little too woke, and then intent. Yeah. Yep. I think I think they're following the history that they did in their uh, their business model. I think it's just following into the movies. Uh, it is what it is on that. You know, I not too worried about it. We'll see. They could they could prove me wrong, but I doubt it. 
I doubt it. Well, I know I am looking forward to another Doctor Strange movie. That one should be good. You know. Um, and a Black Widow movie, I think, would be good. Yeah, hopefully they do it right. I hope so. Because yeah. uh, ScarJo, ScarJo was an awesome Black Widow. Yes. Why did they why did they make her blonde? But though in Infinity War? I don't know. Yeah, she was Yeah, she was never blonde as far as I could tell. She was always a ginger. I mean, they had another Black Widow um in the comics for a little while that, you know, was sort of working at odds with Natasha and she was blonde. But she uh, wasn't Natasha. Right. I don't know. You know, maybe that was just a ScarJo thing. Yeah, she said, I'm going to be blonde and y'all can take it or leave it. Never know. <laughs> never, never know what them people going to do. Man, the, only was, way I can see that, the only way I can see that working is if she was wearing a wig the whole time. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Well, I mean, people she, do that. Yeah. Good. What I was going to say was uh, we've up to this point, she's been a ginger just to have her blonde all of a sudden with no explanation. Well, I mean, a lot of time passed, right? And uh, that's that's the last movie that we saw her in, right? She everybody all her identities were burned. Right. So, yeah. I mean she stands is to reason stands to reason that if you, all of your identities are burnt, maybe you change your look a little bit. That's the only that's the way I justified it. Right. Yeah, that's doable. You know, because that's the last movie, right? Civil War. Identities were burnt. Everything was leaked. Everybody knew everything about S.H.I.E.L.D., according to the MCU. Yeah, that happened at the end of Winter Soldier. Yeah, Captain America is a fugitive. <laughs> yeah. Or is he, since uh, he went back in time and... You never know now. You never know. Yeah, that happened in, uh, at the end of Civil War. Yeah, it, it, was, it was not. No bueno. It was a no bueno situation. So that's why I don't, I don't try to rationalize. I like, oh, well, her identity was blown. Big deal. All right, she changed her hair. Okay, who cares? You know, done deal. You know, and and I leave it at that. I leave it at that, because whenever you make a movie of something, creative license. Yeah, creative license. I mean, Alita: Battle Angel was a good movie to me, but I heard that the people that read the book, they were disappointed. So you're always gonna you're always gonna get those. I don't like this because it's not like the manga type in every adaptation that you get. So there's that, right? I don't think it, I don't think it's fair often to compare, you know, the books to movie adaptations because you know, uh, a movie you've got two three hours at the most. I mean, yeah. I, I think they did a pretty good job with the Lord of the Rings yeah. trilogy, but they still had to leave stuff out, <laughs> right? Even the anime adaptations had to leave out some things. So, you know. That whole arc was what? Like like dozens of chapters long? I don't know. I, that, 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 it was like three thick books for Alita Battle Angel. Going to YouTube, Twitch is buffering, buffering too much. All right, cool. Join us, at, join us at YouTube. YouTube is working. It seems to be working. Emphasis on seem to be, but yeah. Seems to be. I don't know because I don't check. And I don't go back and forth between the things. I just I let it do what it does. Right. And where people go is where people go. They have a choice. Wherever they want to watch. And that's choices. fine by me. That's fine by me. And Lady Celtic Moon says, I'm back. She's here on the YouTubes. Well, all right. Yeah. All right. yeah. That's why I don't I don't get too upset. You know, like, well, last time, she, you know, she got burnt. Everything was, you know, whatever. Uh, it is what it is. You know, and uh, we roll forward. 
And then I just leave it alone. Yep, she looks better as a redhead. Agreed. Mm -hmm. But I can see we're changing her hairstyle and hair color and all that stuff to keep herself from being, you know, too exposed. Whatever. It's she should just put the case of getting rid of the gingers. You know, yeah, I don't know about all that it's conspiracy theory, but I don't know. Maybe yeah, yeah. Good. Then that would have changed everything about her. She would have been, she would have been like uh, Deadpool said, the black, black widow. Right. Yeah, you know, maybe Celtic moon in the house. Everybody's, everybody's here. Did anybody else join that I don't know about? Who's here at the stream? Oh. Okay, we got Ooh, oh, Josh. Nice brawly. We got Josh <laughs> in the house. There you go. That is yeah. brawly, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like him. I was like, I'm looking around. I'm looking around. I see you got it working completely, though. Like, you you, you got the OBS virtual cam working the way it's supposed to be and everything. So that's yeah. good. I finally got it working. Nice. I got to help my brother out. He said he having issues, too. He said he saw another video and had the same exact steps. Yeah, I'm telling still, you, man, the, the plugins weren't there, and uninstalling it, reinstalling it several times did not fix it. That's crazy. OBS, right. you know, that's what happens when you get free software. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something always goes wrong. Yeah, I got to figure out how to get Manny and everybody, because Manny's not doing what we're doing, so it's, um, how do we get him here so we can see whatever... Yeah, we could do that. There you go. But then everybody else is out. No oh, man. I just bring Manny in every so often. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Wonder Woman looks so bony in that picture. Who is this Wonder Woman? Yeah. I, don't I know, think man. it's just the arms. It's the way he drew her. I ain't even mad at it. <clears throat> Just something to practice. I'm not mad at it either, but I just like, wow, she is Bodhi. Get her a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what style she was going, but she does got some Popeye forearms. Uh, at least over here, she seems to have. She got that cloud DNA. <laughs> <laughs> She's got something going on, but I ain't mad at it. Like I said, something to practice with, something yeah. to practice on. I'm not bad at it either, but I but I that's not gonna stop me from cracking a few jokes here and there. Oh yeah, yeah. Knock yourself out. Oh, Manny gone. Why Manny gone? How did Manny leave? I don't know. We got a mystery on our hands, gang. Soinks. Yeah, I hope it was I hope it wasn't something I said. I was like, I'm I'm just gonna have to put him on, you know, a little bit later. Hopefully he comes back. Hopefully he comes back. So Josh. Yeah. Talk to us about your XP Pen Pro. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, it's a it's a pretty neat uh you know uh standalone device. I mean it's it's I haven't had any problems with it other than the setup with it. Um I had to do backwards from what the uh, the actual documentation said to do. Um, the documentation said to have this as monitor two and have my other one, my, my main computer is monitor one. If I do that, the pen doesn't work. Hmm. So I had to I have to have this as monitor one to uh, to have the actual stylus work with the software. Ah uh -huh. But other than that, actually installing the sucker on the machine wasn't that hard. It was just that my machine, uh, my actual PC, um, the video card only has one HDMI port, and the actual computer with all of its other ports are all fried. So I had to search forever to find a Display Port adapter for HDMI because right. the video card actually had three display ports on it but this machine doesn't do display this vga does mm -hmm. eight uh 
uh, HDMI, um, but no display port. So I had to, uh, it took me forever, forever to find one. Uh, once I did, I got it all hooked up. Like I said, I just took a little bit to figure out why the stylus wouldn't work. Mm. But I mean, I'm, you know, I got my Photoshop loaded on the machine and it's been working fine ever since. That's awesome, dude. <coughs> oh, Lord. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, Manny said he left because he didn't want to mess up my... Man, don't worry about that crap, Manny. Just come you back in, man. mess up the flow? Jeez. You're not, you're not going to mess it up. I just... All I got to do is every so often, you know, make Press you big. Press an extra button. Yeah, yeah. It's no big deal. Shoot. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's not a big deal. I'll just figure it out. <clears throat> Besides, I'm not doing anything interesting anyway. You're over there working on Skunk Girl. People want to see Skunk Girl. People don't want to see. Gotta... People don't want to see me doing uninteresting stuff. <laughs> you know. So, Manny, come back. Do do do. You can blame it all on E. Yeah, everybody else does. He was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> And he just and can't, he can't live without, can't you. Live without you. Everybody else does, man. I'm not worried. Not worried, man. Right. I never worry about that stuff. Why? All right, let's see. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Stop there it. you go. So is anybody going to any shows soon? There's really nothing to see. You mean movie there's shows a, or what time? No, I, mean, I, mean, I mean cons. I oh. There is a con coming to my area in September, but it doesn't look too interesting. I have yeah. a one-day event in Lexington uh, beginning of September. That's always a big hit. Yep. I'll, be, I'll be going there. I never pass up Lexington. And uh, speaking of big hits, get, guess who else fell in? Who got? Who else got ensnared in the Pope fire? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Pope fire asked me to uh, to work on something for. Her. Oh. So. I Did said I gotta get done with a few other things first, but after that, I'd be more than happy to look into uh, possibly doing it. Here we are. Pope Fire is an excellent patron. Yes. I need to set up one of those. Yeah, once you uh, I have one, but I just don't have anything I think I could offer people. Yeah, right. Once once Pope Fire gets her hooks on you, you'll be working for a while. It's not a bad thing. No, she uh keeps the money going. And she does pay. Yep. Unlike some people I've dealt with. Which is oh, always yeah. good. Which is always amazing. Yeah. Have you had a problem, Shinobi, with, with people not paying for stuff? Well, I would they'd ask me how they ask me how they ask me what I'm charging. I tell them what I'm charging and I never hear from them again. Oh, yeah. No, I've gotten that too. Got that all the time. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we're charging too much, guys. <laughs> uh, people want everything on the low low. Yeah. Funny thing is, is my prices. I find uh, I've been told I I've been told that my prices were pretty reasonable. Now, maybe be. Oh right, uh, low low as in, I don't want to pay for this. Yep, low low as in that. As in, how can I get it for two or three bucks? No, no. Because people don't yeah. realize how long it takes it takes to do this stuff. My brother just jumped on, saying hello, hey brother, what's going on? Kind of local, you know. He's doing his thing, like I said on yeah. the on the YouTube's with the with the boxing vids. Y'all yeah. haven't checked them out? Go check them out. He's still figuring stuff out. He got TKO by his camera on the last stream. It's terrible. Sure. We have to give him a standing eight count. But he's he's back. He is back. 
I know you're gonna be like, bad bro, why you why you making fun of me, man? Why you making fun of me, man? Because it's easy. Uh, you know, because you're not here to defend so brothers do. You know, I thought it was funny, man. But he explained it on his video what happened, and he was like, "Oh man, I had done this whole video, and it was awesome." And then I realized the camera didn't record. He sounded he sounded he sounded a little bit upset about that whole situation. You know, my mom did that once at a vacation we did. She was sitting there trying to record. I think it was my son swimming around in the pool. She had the GoPro. She didn't realize, or she had something. Didn't realize it was flipped backwards and was staring at her the whole time. Ah, no. It's just her face been like, oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it was like very funny. It was a great video, Mom. Hey, moms do amazing things. Grandmas rock, man. <laughs> <laughs> no argument from me. Grandmas rock. And I guess Maddie don't want to come back for real. Hmm. Aww. Yes. No. Give him a Scooby snack. Right? Yeah, he should be. I don't know. We'll see. Scooby Dooby Doo. Just gotta teach him that little trick that we do. So when he's doing digital work, it'll just be like, you know, like what we got going on. That way, you know, everybody gets a little bit of love. So was it that you, you couldn't get more than four people in? No. What happened is Manny was doing a screen share. And when someone does a screen share, as opposed to the way we have it set up, Shinobi, myself, and um, Josh. and uh, Josh, then uh, the person that's using the camera, like using like is doing a screen share plus the camera, you can only – two you, he can be the only focus point, and everybody I, else goes real small. Yeah, yeah. And and so I was like, ah, you know, that's why I said, man, let me figure this out. You know, so I, I was like, well, let me just click on us for a minute and then go back to Manny in a minute. That way people can see us and then we can go back to Manny. But then I guess he just like, you know, I'm messing up East stream, so I'm out of here. And I was like, that's that wasn't my intention. Oh. You know, I was just trying to figure out how I was going to do it because of that. The way the setup was. Yeah. That was it. No, no big I was deal. For what the experiment. You know, it's that's the one thing that Hangouts had over has over this, the fact that it don't matter how you what you're doing, if you do a screen share, that's that's all you see. And but on this one, you know, you see the camera and the screen share. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so that's that's the problem. That's the problem. You know, and and I didn't mean to make him feel bad. I was just trying to like, oh, how do I how do I work this now? You know, so right. I was thinking out loud. And, you know, but. Like I said, things happen. Things happen. You know. You know, I'm beginning to feel that many don't want to be around me no more, man. Yesterday, you know. No. Man, you know, Manny, don't leave me, Manny. But yeah. Yeah, yeah Paulo Romero. Look, that very feature is why they had to drop Hangouts. It was a security risk, your tease, and no one, and they, and no one, could fix it. They didn't know how to fix it. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, there you go. Now, now I know some more stuff. And you go, and Pablo Romero Ars is in the house, and he says how some of you were getting hacked. Oh no! Hopefully, I didn't get hacked. I know, I know, man. You're listening, man. I appreciate it, bro. I hope I didn't make you feel like you had to leave, man. That was not my intention, brother. That was not my intention. <laughs> You know. well, I don't. I don't mind if we're small. You know, we gotta get Skunk Girl out. I know that's what I'm saying. You know, you have Skunk Girl and whatnot, so <coughs> we gotta get you going. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, is that a Frank show or that other artist would trace nudes on his character that he's inking? It's a guy named. Uh, shoot, uh, I always do this from now on. Who are you inking? I am inking Deviant Art Rants Art Wonder Woman Fan Art dot com. <laughs> oh, Rance, Randy Kent. There you go. That's him. That's who I'm inking. I make it a point not to make a banner who I'm inking just in case. Just in case, because 
I never, I can't, I'm really, actually, I don't remember whose who's stuff I, I borrow. I was going to say, that's not sexy enough for Frank Chow. Yeah. I, I don't remember whose stuff I borrowed. So I went on DeviantArt this time. See, what happened is I, I grabbed a, uh, a full page um, DC Comics to ink, and right. it just, it wore me out. So I said, today I'm going to ink something simple. You know, and, and call it a day, because then um, that video releases tomorrow morning, and y'all see, it's it's like six panels, it's ridiculous, and um, and I'm like, yo, you know what? I need something simple for the evening. I'm not right. gonna get, I'm not gonna get involved in another, yeah. And since my car broke down, I've been working on this all day. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's a, that's the one, Pablo. I couldn't recall the name. Yeah, you can tell when he's not tracing. Yeah, Rand is the guy that does the, the old faces on women. And I'll say that and leave that alone after that. Y'all can figure it out. I had to Google that one. <laughs> yeah. I can say this. If you put art in front of an art station place and link to an artist in your post description, I know a Warhammer 4K guy that does that and is allowed. Yeah, I do. I do the best that I can to give everybody credit for whoever it is that I'm taking their stuff. I always try to give them credit. Uh, try to give them their love. So I create this little banner, and that's who I got it from. There you go. And uh, I'm gonna hide the banner because everybody needs so that you can see everybody's name. And there's that. There you go. There you go. I try to give love. I don't know. You know. I don't know if people receive it. But hey, somebody'll receive it. You know, I'm still, I'm still kind of laughing at you know, Slick Jimmy popping in and popping out. Like, say, like, wow, what was that about? Got it. The pose does look a bit porn star for Wonder Woman. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was cute. That's the only reason why I grabbed it. I thought it was cute and it was simple. And I could get it done in one in one sitting if I wanted to. Won't look great. But you know, I get it done. You know. <laughs> I kind of look at saying, I wish my screen. Yeah, he's having an OBS issue too. I gotta walk, I gotta walk him through it tomorrow morning. Jeez. I, I don't know why OBS just worked for me and everybody had like right tons of issues, but it's for me, it just worked. I, I had no issues with it. My thing was after I got all the plugins and everything installed. It still wouldn't work, and after uninstalling it all and reinstalling it all, it still wouldn't work. Mm. And then finally, once I closed every browser, like Chrome, Internet Explorer, everything, oh, it. it finally picked up, oh, there's a change that, of a plug-in. And once I reopened up the the stream the stream yards, it was like, oh, look, you actually have a virtual camera. Would you like to use it? <laughs> yes. I was like, yes, for the love of God, it's been three hours. Let me use it. Yep, yep. He said we were on FaceTime, so he saw everything I did. Yep, but I, I'm blind, and that FaceTime screen is small. But we're gonna get it tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll put him up on a on a Streamyard private, and get him to share his uh. Yeah, Chronos. Chrome is uh, Chrome is acting really funky, man, for for being a a Linux derivative, yeah. which is open source. Chrome is really beginning to not play nice. Uh-oh. Maranya says, hey, Shinobi, did you save? Go save. There you go. And now he has saved. And life is beautiful once again. I have to use Chrome for business, though, yeah. I mean, you got to use whatever. What happens is, for development purposes, Chrome is a lot easier than Internet Explorer or Edge to work with. A lot of developers right. develop in Chrome and they don't give love to uh, Internet Explorer or Windows Edge. 
Um, I always liked Mozilla Firefox, but that's been having a lot of problems lately. It's been crashing an awful lot on me. Yeah, that's another open source, which, you know, I still use it from time to time. Yeah, but it's easier to, uh, like people who develop in websites and uh, web-based applications and stuff like that, it's a lot easier for them to develop with Chrome and work with Chrome than it is to uh, to work with, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, Internet Explorer or Edge. So that's why a lot of business applications still use Chrome, despite despite the best efforts. I was one of the first devs on Firefox. I should get all of it. Go away and make my own. You should, man. And uh, Comic Book Bob is in the house, and I guess Perry Comics is in the house because. Marcus Gibbons says hello to Perry Comics. I didn't see him pop in, but um, Edge is dead. I still use it. Oh, Perry Comics says lurking. There he goes. I saw him. I saw him. <laughs> Edge is not completely dead. I still use it. I still use it. Right. You know? <laughs> the thing I used it for was for Indiegogo. Yeah. I use it to get my little Bing points. You know, MS is using Chromium, and I don't have the six months to bring old code up to speed. Okay. I forgot that Kronos is, is a super duper guy. He is all into that security. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Tank Ferret is in the house saying, hey, folks. Let's see. So we got a Tank Ferret sighting. All right, folks, we got five days left to get Chango funded on Kickstarter. Kickstarter. $941 away. Hmm. The four thousand so, dollar goal has got three thousand and fifty nine. I better start sharing. So, tweet it out. Let everybody know. Yep. Right. If you can, if you haven't backed it up, I can tell you. No. I wanted to get a hold of you via email. Who are you trying to get a hold of through email? Oh, Tank. <laughs> well, my channel will have fifty percent. How? And what ain't channel? The right best thing to try and get you for the kids. All right, cool. Kronos is, was trying to get a hold of Tank via email. So there is that. Let's see what's going on. Only five days left. Yep. Yep. I don't think Kickstarter what? does uh, what? The, does what Indiegogo does. Well, they don't do in-demand. That's that's for sure. I guess Spider-Man not being part of the MCU is a big deal because everybody's sending messages about it. Yep. And like, yeah, it's yep. who cares? It is what it is. It seems like everybody is doing a video about that it's today. It's been a day for it's been a day for bad news. If it's not about uh, Spider-Man being on its way out of the MCU, it's she wrote on its way at the door. If it's not that, it's a, a possible He-Man anime. I didn't think it was possible. I thought it was actually on the way. Well, yeah, I'm hearing conflicting stories, but it probably is on the way. Maranya uses every browser. She got one browser per each application that she likes to do. Uh, the one with the human is about Tila, says Paulo Romero Arts. Why is Tila the main character? I like Tila, but why is she the main character? All right, brother. Enjoy the job. We'll talk to you later. Kind of local is on his way out. I don't know. Like I said, something I'm not going to watch and probably never will watch. Not really interested. Nope. 
They gave up on Netflix a long time ago. I was never a big Masters of the Universe fan to begin <gasps> with. I need stream now. I was, about to, I, was about to, I was about to say Josh is about to have a, a heart attack. <laughs> Love well, I'm a little older, remember? So. No excuse. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, Although, I, the uh, animation was pretty good. Thing. Yeah. They did a lot of rotoscoping. That's filmation for you. Yeah. Hey. That Tank Ferris said, Romero said, what happened to Spider-Man? Well, Sony and Marvel didn't reach an agreement, and now... Sony owns Spider-Man again, and Spider-Man is no longer part of the MCU. And there you have it. And everybody's upset about that. And I'm like, oh, well, we already knew that once Endgame happened, that Marvel was, was going to shift gears. So nobody should be acting surprised. Yeah. They shouldn't be like, oh, my goodness, what did they oh do? Oh, my God. No. Everybody saw the writing on the wall the minute they released Captain Marvel. That's all right. I didn't like uh, the first Spider-Man the MCU did, and I still hadn't seen Far From Home either. So, Far From Home was a good movie. Yeah, well, Homecoming, oh, is, Homecoming is awful. Oh, I hated that movie. I think so. Dude, yeah. Um, I... I haven't been cringed that hard in a theater since Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. My wife was like, can we go home? And my son was like, Dad, I don't like this movie. <laughs> he was five. That's sad. I mean, you can't yeah. entertain a five-year-old with freaking Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Would your five-year-old watch the original He-Man cartoon over and over and over? He'll watch all the Spider-Man cartoons, but he won't sit there and watch that New Spider-Man movie. He, he was like, I yeah, you know. It, yeah, you know how you keep saying this film isn't for us. Well, the film that it's supposed to be for, Junior didn't like it. Yeah, I think he'd like Venom more than he would the uh, Spider-Man MCU movies. Venom was okay, but them CGI's were horrible. Uh, I liked it. I said, okay, listen to what I said. Venom was okay, but the CGI's like the were CGI too. The CGI's were bad, bro. I liked it. They were bad. They were like 1980s bad. You know what was the worst CGI? Transformers. And that's an older movie. Okay. No, the, okay. the newer one that just came out. So between what Venom looked like in the Venom movie and what he looked like in Spider-Man 3, which is your preference? E? Venom movie. The Venom movie I'm was better. E. The Venom movie was a better was better, but it was still the CGI was still not where it should have been for uh. 2019. Is what I'm saying. The CGI, was, especially that fight where it looked like he was in a tsunami of Venom. Come on, man, that right. was terrible. That part right there was like, oh my gosh, the movie just. <laughs> but anyway, everything else was good. Miss K is in the house saying hello. Hey, Miss K, thank you for joining us. I'm sorry, we got we got. We got carried away. We got carried away. But thank you for joining us. Yeah, Venom wasn't a man movie. It's just the CGI put me off. I was like, wow, really? That, that's right. the best CGI you could do with, with all that money and budget? But then again, it, it was a Sony movie. So I digress. I digress. And also the other thing that I didn't like is the way they um the, the way they, they have, uh, what's his name, Hardy, Ed Hardy? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, yeah, he he didn't. He did a complete opposite of what the character should have been, and I understand that's not his fault. I understand they told him that that's what that was the way he was supposed to act. But if he would have just taken about ten minutes to go read some books, he would have well, known that. They told him not to, because like whenever not, Hugh Jackman did um, Wolverine, they told him don't look at the comics. We don't need no stinking comics. I don't know, dude, but. But if he would have read a couple of books, he would have realized that, that that's that, that's a bad, bad interpretation of the of the character. Yeah, but this is what happens when people tell you not to to look at the original source material. You get it wrong. 
I mean, overall, like I said, the movie was good. I just, there was a couple of things that I didn't agree with. Uh, the way he portrayed the character was not true. It was way opposite of, of what I'm used to. Um, but, you know, and then that one CGI scene that, that, that I don't know what the heck, the guy had a brain fart and, and didn't quite figure out what to do there. Uh, you know, other than that, not bad. You know. You know. Yep, Miss K. Marcus is right. We try to show everybody on the channel love. So, you know, just embrace it. Embrace it. Crown says, yeah, really, they should have had tra tracing and top-end CPU GF card rendering. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it is, it is what it is. Like, and that's, that's, what, that's, the, that's what's wonderful, right? You know, people are going to disagree about movies and whatever, but it's still cool, you know? It's yes, still it's cool. still cool. And like I said, overall... You know, we're waiting for that uh, Venom Carnage. Hopefully, they'll get the graphics straightened out by then. But I know Carnage, if they do it right, should be amazing. Should be amazing. Right. Carnage is a straight-up killer. So, Sony does it right. I, I, could see, I could see some good things happening. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And done. This cat's going crazy. <laughs> Who's cat? My cat. I got a cat and a dog. You got a cat. <laughs> That's right. You got a puppy now. Yeah, the puppy's fine. Puppy's been out all day. She's been playing with the boy, and she's been tuckered out since about 9 o'clock. She fell asleep on the floor, and I made her go outside, use the bathroom, go back into her cage. I'm like, I'll see you in the morning. I know you're, you're done for the night. <laughs> the cat's all like, let me eat on your art desk. Let me screw with this thing. What's this? I'm gonna bite it. <laughs> Cats are mischievous, man. You know. I know he's pretty good, but tonight he's all like, "Screw your crap, man." And you can tell my accent just jumped out there on that word. And I was like, ah, uh, I don't know if I even pronounced it right. But anyway, we digress. We digress. <laughs> Did you guys see uh, what Rob Willis tweeted out today? Uh, Shinobi Sasquatch. I think it is, and his uh, he got up to go get, I think go get something to drink, and came back, and his son decided to help Daddy ink the page. <laughs> oh, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love it. I actually let my son play with this thing today. He was like, "I want to draw on it." I was like, "Okay," so I set up a blank page for him. He's like, "What do you want to draw, buddy?" He thought about it. He goes, "I want to draw Pikachu." So I showed him a few images of Pikachu. I'm like, "All right, go ahead. I gotta take the dog outside." Came back and he had the whole thing uh, penciled and colored. I was like, "All right, well, you keep going like this, you can keep playing on the the uh, the XP pen, buddy." Nice. Yeah. That's, a, that's another wonderful thing about digital. You no. Know. And she's. There's another wonderful thing about the digital the digital art. It's not good for selling, but you know, when you want to just mess around and get your thoughts together, it's amazing. Right. At least I like it. I'm still not used to drawing on it. I don't mind inking and coloring on it, but I'm not used to drawing on okay. it. Okay. Yeah. It, it'll take some time to uh, get used to doing that. It does. It does take time to readjust. Um, from you know, at least from my experience. Yeah. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but it does take a little bit of a. It does take a little bit of time, not long, but you know, especially for someone like you that's been drawing for a while. But uh, it takes it takes some time. <laughs> Takes a little bit of time. Just a little bit. Now, grease pencil and blender, my guy, guys, you got to try that. You got better machines than me. It requires, like, man, I don't understand blender, and I ain't got time to and time and effort to try to learn how to do blender. I'm like, no, I'm done. I'm barely, I'm barely hanging on to to what I know now. I like Photoshop, so. 
And I don't mind paying for it, so. Photoshop's not bad. It's just, for what I do, I just find Cliff Studio to be better. Yeah. yeah, see, I had Cliff Studio back whenever they were Manga Studio, and that left a bad taste in my mouth, so. Yeah. I haven't tried animations with it, but as far as uh, comics go, I think it it's good for doing that. Everybody has their own preference. I think I like Clip Studio better as well. And everybody works differently, so. Yep, everybody does. But if you're doing if you're doing all in comics all the time, if you like if you're actually doing books. This is way better. Yep. This is way better. Because it's got all the templates and everything already. Uh, Epic Games and Ubisoft are now supporting Blender. Nice, nice. And more pros are known leaving Adobe. It's like iOS and Apple are leaving Adobe. It is like 6% of all web. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, it, like I said, and uh, and Josh does more coloring and inking, so you know. Right. But uh, Adobe, you know, it, it it's good for that. Yep. But I like the fact that uh, Flip Studio already has uh, different pen sets. I don't know you can buy pens for Adobe brush sets, but I like the, the real G pen and the G pen. I don't have to try to find anything else. Uh, Pablo says, I have uh, Blender, but I don't have time to mess with it. The idea is the market with stuff. The, the idea there, I go to where the market is with stuff. Okay. All right. There you go. I think he's still, I think his keyboard is still busted. Because <laughs> mm. I, I, I had sometimes I got to figure out what he was typing. I know he has, I know he had a busted keyboard. So. Uh. It's broken at the moment, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of figured. I do my best. I do my best to read Chronos. Chronos has his own language. H T T H L L. There you go. But yeah, that happens. You know, it happens. No big deal. No big deal. Mm. Now, go back up. It's solved. Yep. <laughs> no worries, Kronos, man. I, I try I try to figure you out. I try to figure your language out. You know, like oh, I think this is what Kronos is saying. In Chronesian. Chronesian. And she know we done tweeted something out. We got everything going on. Yeah, so what do you think? Uh, Josh is over there doing some amazing line work. Yeah, I'll zoom out real quick. Whoa, that's real zoomed out. That's good, though, man. All right, so this is everything that's different with it. I have to re-ink it because I'm never satisfied with how my scans scan my ink yeah. and I'm like ah it caps and it didn't catch certain parts you know so I'm having to re-ink it digitally so I'm almost there and then uh, I went ahead and had some fun through some colors in some spots just to go ahead and get them on there kind of visualize it right 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 and there you go and and a trusty is working on, on the Varinkineer. Huh. Oh, man. Trusty's is looking way better than what I did. Shoot. <laughs> I'm taking my time. <laughs> hey, whatever works. Yeah, man, Trusty's doing good stuff, man. Trusty does it big. 
Let's see. The scan always looks a little worse than the drawing on paper for some reason. Yeah. And so at any time I'm like, all right, it's time for digital. Um, there for the longest time, I, I was like, I don't have time to re-ink it. And then I did one and I'm like, God, this is just awful. I'm going to have to ink it. So from then on, that from then on, I've always just had to plan ahead. Like if I'm going to use it, I'm going to have to re-ink it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that will the work. What can I say? Yeah. Let's see. Maranya says, I have to figure out who's the next superhero I'll do. I take on tomorrow. My may dig deep and try sketching justice. Nice. Nice. Why not? Why not, man? Things things work. Those things happen. Why not? Why not? Yeah, man, poor Manny, man. Yeah. I think I made him feel bad. Was, keep talking yeah. to him. Try and get him on here. Yeah, man, Manny, Manny, yes. we weren't with you last Manny, night, and we're not with Manny's, you. Tonight. Manny's stubborn, man. <laughs> we need you. And Lady Catherine says, "Sorry, I got to go. Bye." Well, bye, Elfinium. Goodbye. Good night. Yeah. And Pablo says, sometimes my originals look better scanned than in physical and vice versa. Colonel says, late night supper, pea soup with ham. Is that a, like a Canadian thing? I had tacos. It's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yes, sir. I lose track of days. You don't, don't remember when you streamed me? Oh, I remember that. I, I haven't said it was a calendar appointment. I just had that as a as a recurring event. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Until it becomes reflexive action. Right. And then that happens. Even though I did have to do it twice, because the first one wasn't streaming to YouTube and that was kind of sucky. And that was kind of no good, no bueno. No bueno. Yeah, and then of course tomorrow, <coughs> tomorrow my little time lapse video will drop because I always work on something. I always work on a time lapse and then you know my stream. Time lapse stream. Time lapse stream. Time lapse stream. Yup. That way, um, there's always something populating in the channel. Time lapses don't get a lot of love though, man. You know. To, you know, 20, 20 views here and there, which is still good for me. It brings people to the channel, I guess. It's just hard to get the pulse. You know, I think people just like the live streams better. You yeah. know? How long is your time lapse? It's like five or six minutes. Okay. It's just quick, quick hitters. You know, it's five or six minutes. I create them on the, on the iPad. And just export them. So whatever I ink on the iPad automatically creates a time lapse. Oh. And then I got two two choices. I could do a 30 second time lapse, which is the ones I post on Twitter and Facebook, and then the normal time lapse, which is the ones I post on the YouTube channel. You know, the ones on YouTube, I add music and all that, all that boom boom. Maybe it's the music. Use the music. It's a royalty free, uh, royalty free YouTube music, bro. I can't. Suck, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Huh? It could still suck. There's one that had a. No, uh, I, I, that's what I'm saying. I, all I can do is post what I can post, which is you know royalty free to YouTube music. Yeah. yeah. Somebody posted something. I was like, this does not go with this with this video, and it, it was god awful to watch. Oh. I try. I try to match the video with the with the with the theme. Sometimes it works, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Almost impossible. Yeah, sometimes it works. Like the one I did with Tanks, uh, Scalpel Zero. That song seemed to match pretty good. People liked it. And they, you know, they said, yeah, this song definitely matches the character. Pea Soup and Ham is a mix of British and Southern. Ah. 
Nice. So I was like, what the heck? Pea soup and ham. It's another thing I'll probably never eat. Nope. But hey, hey, don't let me stop you from enjoying yeah. pea soup and ham. All right. All right. You can uh, you can knock yourself right on out. Yep. Now bean and ham, I will eat. Be nope. Pass on that too. I I'm sketch a fire star. <laughs> and I don't know about that bean and ham either, man. I'm gonna pass no. on that. I sketched a fire star before, so I should sketch her. So at least back in the day, justice was that. All right. Ranya's doing big things as well. I do not eat green eggs and ham. Yeah, I don't. I don't mess with the. Uh, yeah, mm -mm. there's a, there's a lot of things I just don't mess with. You can you can blame certain certain things that happen in my life for that, but uh, mm. I understand perfectly. There's a lot of things I don't mess. Chronos, put crackers with salt, and you have and you can die ten years earlier with flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to avoid that part. You know, the, the dying early if I don't have to. If I can, if I can start it as long as I possibly can. But you know, we'll we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you posted on that. I'll keep you posted on that. Let's see. Chango the Broken Bell. Oh no, you, that's the wrong link. Uh Marcus, he's he's on uh the Indiegogo's dead. We gotta put him on Kickstarter. Yeah. Let's see if I can find it. Uh let's see. Where's my email? Wait, I didn't back it. All right, let me see if I can find it. Chango. Chango. Yeah, he changed it over to Kickstarter because it was doing way better on Control Copy, Control V. There you go. Gotcha. No, I got it. There, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, so he's almost at the goal. He's at 3000 $59 out of a $4,000 stretch goal. So, so we need like 900, 841, 941. There you go. I'm bad at math. I, just, I told that to somebody today. Like, hey, I don't, I don't do math. My son, on the other hand, Freaking math genius. <laughs> Did not get it from his old man. Thanks, Marcus. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate me ate that, brother. Appreciate me ate that. Pretty sure Cesar is going to appreciate it too. Got to send the people to the right place. At least try to. Let's see. Tonight is mac and cheese, boot box with ground beef, cooked with diced tomatoes, onions mixed in. Whoa. It's a lot. It's a lot. Run it on play. That's a lot of food. Josh would never eat. <laughs> PS. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Let's see. Everything is quiet. Chat is quiet. Everything's going smooth. Nanny, 
Come back, Manny. Sharing. Come back, Manny. Come back. Yeah. What would it, Manny? I think people are just more trusting of uh, Kickstarter than Indiegogo. I think Kickstarter is, uh, has been around longer, so I think they just... Yeah. They, it, yeah. It's like trying to move to a new uh, video uh, uploading platform. People are just more uh, more comfortable with YouTube. Yeah. Well, it's a different audience too. I mean, you, let's face it, you get some people who see Indiegogo as a Comicsgate platform and maybe they're not a fan of Comicsgate. And so they're yeah. not going to even look at anything on Indiegogo. Yeah. I was trying to avoid that, mentioning that dead horse, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Mine is uh, Kronos uh, Marcus says, so I read something interesting just now. They're supposed to do it in Matrix 4. I don't know how that's going to work, considering how they ended the last one. Eh, never know. Maybe it's Matrix reboot, and uh, he gets put back into the Matrix and gets reborn again. Then he's back! <laughs> then he! Yeah. Yeah, man, man, I didn't mean to make you feel bad, brother. Jeez. Is, there, is there anybody else getting an echo? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit of an echo. Is there anybody else getting an echo? It's my iPad. It's okay, man. <laughs> man, you got to come in shield, brother. Get a shield skunk girl, man. Right. You can't, you can't have you, you know, dipping out like that. Like I said, if I if, if it was because of something I said, man, my apologies, dude. No, no, I'm messing up your. Strength. Nah, you're fine, brother. You're fine. Like I said, I just figure it out. You know, we'll figure it out, and everybody's happy. Look at this, Manny with cheeseburgers, Manny from Pablo Romero, Manny for life. Hashtag Manny for life from Aranya for for about Conan. Are you kidding me? And I see this. Uh, at that. There you go, boom. We're good. We'll leave it like that. If anybody wants to see anybody else's art, hit me on the chat and we'll maximize on that one. Unless you're wrath ERTs. Right. I don't have a wrath, man. I'm a nice guy for the most part. Yes, this is true. For the most part. People, I don't know, some people misunderstand me at times and I, I can't help that one. You know. I can't help what people think. No, you for the most For the most part, I think I'm a pretty nice guy. For the most part. Unleash your wrath on me. Oh, on, I think he's saying uh, Manny should unleash his, his wrath on me. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> that makes way more sense than me unleashing wrath on anybody because, yeah, whatever. And uh, <laughs> Chrono says, I'm so misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, it happens, man. Some people are just, you know, we're just, we're just not understood. Indeed. Very well. It's all good. It's all good. Those things happen. And uh, Marcus is dropping the Skunk Girl. Yeah, I'm talking about Manny's rap. Exactly, since Pablo Romero. And uh, Marcus dropped the link for Skunk Girl. Speaking of, how's, this, how's the campaign going? Did we unlock any stretch goals, Manny? Mm -hmm. All right, then. I think uh, if I don't add this one, we can't hear him. Manny, were you talking? I don't know. I got my Yeti plugged in. Why is it not picking up? It's picking up now. I just have to uh, put yeah, your talking but, head on. Yeah. I, that, that's kind of 
That's wasted waste of a space. No, that's fine, dude. Don't worry about it. Like I said, if anybody on the chat wants to see something else, just let me know. I'll, I just click on the guy. You know, we'll do it like we used to do back in the old our hangouts day. We just, you know, rotate it out. Yeah. No big deal. Mm. Don't worry about it, money. Don't worry about it. We'll figure this out What's somehow. Screen sharing. You got a screen share. We didn't see your art, man. How now? Pumpkin latte coffee with two teaspoons of strawberry Nesquik for flavor. <laughs> Chronos is does. He does some, uh, I guess he's going to do a, a gourmet, gourmet stuff. Let's go. That's what I'm going to call it. Chronos's, Chronos's gourmet uh, dinner. Because I don't, I don't know what else to call it. So anyway, Manny, um, any any stretch goals broken? I don't know. I haven't looked at it today. Yeah. Oh, you haven't looked at it today? Nope. I don't. I, don't, I just set and forget it. I'm not. I'm not the kind of person that frets over it. Oh well, you know, we were fretting. We were trying to figure out if if we got the Josh Chris art, you know. Right. Well, what's going to happen is it's going to hit that eventually because it's going to go into on demand, in demand. So, what usually happens, especially once people realize that the book is going to get out very soon, we're talking super soon. So, you know, then people start putting. Backing it up, you know. The thing is, I'm contemplating on if on the second go around, if there's going to be a second printing. I don't think so. So whoever buys the book on the first go around, that's it. That's it. That's it. No second printing. They're going to have to wait till there's a trade paperback. So that that's my thing. Is like you snooze, you lose. I'm not, I'm not going to play the game of oh, I'll get it on the second try now. There's not going to be a second printing. It's going to be a first printing. I'll just print to whatever was ordered. Maybe print a few copies for myself to give away to certain people for Christmas or something, and that's it. Right. You know, and, and this book is not going to be cheap to to uh, what you call that uh, print. So if anybody thinks that I'm going to make profit off of this, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> There is no right. problem in making a perfect bound 80 page book. No, there is none. I mean, it would be, it would make profit if it was like thousands of orders and then you ship it off to China to get it printed. But this ain't going to be thousands of orders. So right. It'll be just printed to whatever I need to print. And that, that's not cheap. But that's okay because we just, I'm building, I'm building something here. So what happens is it's successful. Now I'm going to fulfill it in a timely manner. Right. And then the second time around, people are going to like, oh, this guy was on it. And hopefully I get very good reviews. Uh, so far, the people that have read the book with me, who's been helping me, they're happy with it. They're super happy with how it ends and the pace of the book. It's a book that you're going to read in an afternoon and have fun. You're not going to be disappointed. If you guys want 80s, 90s, you know, when comics was fun, that's what you're going to get. <clears throat> you're going to get a whole bunch of, you know, just just fun. Right. Not like when, if you guys saw my, my video yesterday, opened up the skunk girl, I mean, squirrel girl, and you had a page of DMs. Who reads that? Who cares about that? That's the splash page that Marvel put out. You know, I mean, it's like, no, that's not that's that's not comics. No. That, that that's definitely not comics. Not not any comics that we know. Yeah. I don't know why it's showing that screen right now. That's Which not, one? Yeah, what you're showing. I don't know why it's showing that screen. That's weird. You don't want that screen? Well, no, because that's not that's not my what you call that. Uh, that's not my studio. That's actually my ice spray. Oh, okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually videotaping myself. I'm gonna make a, a speed video, and like you said, speed videos suck unless you do something that is super realistic, you know, right. or, or some character that's super hot going, or if you're a big name uh, artist. 
Nobody watches those things. Nobody. I, I am lucky that people like Skunk Girl and they actually want to watch two speed videos of Skunk Girl. That's the only ones I have that's done anything good. Yeah, the mine don't. The rest of the speed videos I've got, they haven't even broken 100 views. Bro, I haven't even broken, uh, I haven't even broken 30 views. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I have one. I did Captain Marvel. That's like my worst video ever. And it just never got steam. I did a Zatanna. I think it's only like 70 views. Uh, the Comic Skate uh, poster I did, I think 80 views. Skunk Girl, she's 700 views, 800, I mean, whatever, 400 views. But that's Skunk Girl. If it wasn't for Skunk Girl, that would not have that many views. Yeah, I just do my little thing. I do my little speed videos. I call them a day, but I just I'm just basically doing so anybody jumps on the channel and they want to just do a quick vid, they can do that because I don't think anybody wants to jump into the channel at the last minute and try to watch a whole live stream. The unbreathable skunk girl says 84 backers. Josh's card unlocked. All right. Skunk girl at five thousand two hundred and five dollars. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa, that, that jumped up a lot. Obviously. That must have been wow. a big spender there. And it must be the highest one got unlocked. Cool. Yeah. And so stream videos is where it's at, says Shinobi. Yeah, I think so. It depends. You know, like he like Granny says, if you got a product that people want to watch, like if people are really looking forward to like skunk girl or whatever, and you're doing like like uh like um time lapse videos of that, because people want to just get their fix in and, and dip out. I think that's a good thing. But uh like well, the ones that I'm doing, they don't they don't get a lot of love. But oh, yeah. um they keep they keep traffic coming to the to the channel though. And yeah. uh that's good. Yep. So I just I just looked at the unbreathable skunk girl and I sold another old Henry. So I gotta go email that person and say which which uh piece of original artwork do you want from the book? Mm -hmm. Cool. You so you got to keep keep an eye, man. You got to keep an eye. Speaking of that, Marcus Gibbons got the right idea. Hello, the unbreathable skunk girl. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the VIP is in the chat, and she was giving us good news, and I just kind of uh, read the good news and forgot to say hello. That's so very rude of me. Forgive me, the unbreathable skunk girl. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive old root Recon. Yep. <laughs> It was, it was not my intent. I had it on the wrong thing. That's why I was showing the, the ice ah, because it's it's the same Im image. The ice spring and the ah, you had the same image, so I clicked on the wrong one. Don't <laughs> worry, I I fixed it. I was like, something's wrong here. So yeah. you had to bite me back. Oh, that's good. I I see it. I'll. Add it to the stream. There we go. Now there we you are, go. There we are on the right one. I'm like, why is my ice spring showing? <laughs> no, but man, it's a matter. Of I told you, we'll figure it out, man. There's no such thing as the digital bullpen messing the digital bullpen stream up, especially mine, because mm -hmm. we just do what we do. We will figure it out. Yeah. So all I've been doing for the last hour is just cleaning up this uh, flats. Right. I don't know why it just did not match up. So I've been cleaning them up and to pain in the butt. Yeah. Marcus Givens puts out how Chronos Creedian puts out Marcus Givens YouTube channel. Did he? Chronos Creedian? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, Chronos does a lot of good stuff on video games, man. It's, he's he's gonna do some big things eventually. I can see it, I can see it happening. Yeah, when he becomes a big time developer, he's gonna forget about everybody. Right. It's like, man, I remember nothing of those days. Chronos is gonna be rich and famous. Boom. And that's why I chose to do this today. Because this one I could do easy, doesn't do it easy. The one that's coming out for tomorrow, whoo, that one took me a while to do. I'm not going to lie. That one was, took me two days. Video's freaking seven minutes long. 
which means which equals to about 12 hours of drawing. I'm, I'm getting the hang of how, how it does the time lapses and how long it's going to take based on how, how long it took me to draw it. But in this case, I should say ink it. Thinking about doing a spoof. <laughs> but uh, I will talk about that offline. Because uh, I think it's going to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Colonel says, I know what big time already is. My bad. My bad, man. My bad. I know you used to run a big server with the hackers. I know, I know, I know. I know. Hmm. Well, I say you're a serious customer, man. The Art of Read? The Art of Read says, hello, ladies. So did anybody catch um, Brad Pencil for Life's uh, show tonight, The Artist Table? Nope. With Matthew Walden? Negative. Who was on nope. there? Well, they had the, you know Josh Spencer was on there and Matthew Weldon and um, mm. I'm not sure if anybody else was on, but they uh, they were doing some instruction on drawing hair. Mm. I wish nice. I caught the whole thing because hair is so difficult. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I don't really catch too many too many people's uh, streams. Just don't have time to keep up with everybody. Right. I try to watch Rick. Is why I've always watched Rick. You know, I try to give him support because I know he's a small guy. You know, small streamer like us. Yep. And uh, I caught Pablo because he was early in the, well early in the morning my time. So I caught Pablo. With his stream, with his uh, synth wave music, you know. So I give Paulo a little love because Paulo always gives me love, you know. I gotta try and catch his. Yeah, it wasn't bad, man. It wasn't bad at all. You know, I do, I do try to reserve my my watching to the people that I know come and support us. Yeah, you know? you've caught a couple of mine. Even yeah. though I've been, even though I, when you were there, I was testing out the equipment. <laughs> yeah. I do. I really do try to go back and support those that support. If I see you on my chat and I continue on basis and I see that you go live, I will definitely go support you. But if, uh, if you don't really uh, come around, you're expecting, you're expecting love when you're not giving any, I'm sorry, bro. I gotta, I gotta spend I had to give my love to those that love. Yes. And my time is valuable. Uh, but I don't, you know, whatever y'all do, that's on you. Yeah. I ain't mad at anybody for doing what they do. I try to catch the uh, channels that usually, I usually see them liking things on, face, on Facebook. I mean, why did I say Facebook, Twitter, or they're in my streams. Yeah. Or my chats. That's a... <laughs> Pablo says I wanted to do uh, another one today, but I slept too much. I, it was fun, man. You know, Pablo was doing a uh, uh, his comic, and uh, it was a fun little stream. You know, with the synth wave music and all that going on, it wasn't bad. I kind of enjoyed it. Right. And uh, I have Rick's little guy animated by now. Oh yeah. Nice man. Kind of pissed that blender dev yesterday has been two months and they ain't telling anyone how to fix rigging. Oh. I tried to get all of us small fry says they are to read. Yeah, you know. And Pop well remember Pablo for you for me it was already like I, I get up like five thirty, six o'clock. So I think it was like six thirty my time. 
you know, so I was like, oh, check out Pablo. And of course, I thought it was like another one of those uh, videos you posted out, like, uh, you know, one of those quick videos that you do. Then I realized you was live. I was like, whoa, <laughs> Pablo is live. Pablo is live on YouTube. It's Twitter and Instagram. A Sapien says, hey, all, how you doing, hey, man? Thank you for joining us. Always a good, uh, good to have people coming back. I mean, all that wonderful stuff. It's pretty awesome. Nice. Apparently, we got someone watching on Twitch. Cool. But they're not saying anything on the chat. I don't know if they can hear me. Maybe it's buffering out. Or maybe it's Josh is hosting me. That's what I think it is. Negative, I'm not, Ryder. I'm not hosting you. Oh, you're not? Well, then someone is watching on Twitch. And, it, and whoever's watching on Twitch, greatly appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. If you're still there, hang in. Uh, most of the people are here on, on the YouTube side. But hey, yeah, I was just checking out what the stats were. It says one on Twitch, eight on YouTube, zero on Mixer, zero on DLive. You know, I'll, I keep looking at the stats to see which ones I'm going to start cutting out. Um, because I don't want to keep wasting bandwidth. Right. I want to definitely um, concentrate on the ones that are that are working. YouTube that does, that does hit us to me, makes me do more work. I have to keep making sure people are subbed to or kept sub. Yeah, um, that happened with me and Manny, believe it or not. And I felt bad, too, because I right. knew for sure I was subbed to Manny. And I was like, wait a minute. Why am I not subbed? To and, he's on, and the funny part is I was looking at my YouTube page, making sure that everything was good to go, you know, with the whole um, – uh, with with the whole um what do you call that where you have to uh, highlight videos or whatever Feature page yeah my features page i was looking at manny and i was looking at everybody tank so i well i was adding tank because i forgot to add tank on the first go round uh-oh uh Streamyard does have the ability to multi-stream if you pay for it but what i do is i use the rmtp server setting of Streamyard and put the restream io servers and it multi-streams I put a video out on that eventually, but, I, but apparently when I put a video that works for me, it doesn't work for nobody else. So that's why I haven't. I'm like, ah, you know, work for me, but it doesn't work for anybody else. Blah. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not going to get involved in continuously doing that. But uh, yeah, just put the RMTP on. Uh, there's a StreamYard setting where it says uh, where to broadcast, choose RMTP. Go find the stream key and uh, and put it in there from StreamYard, I mean, from uh, Restream.io or XSplit or whatever you like, and then just go live on StreamYard and it'll stream straight to uh, either Restream or XSplit, and then XSplit or Restream then streams it to everybody else. It's, it's like, that's why there's a little bit of a lag between uh, what's going on, like on uh, Mixer and all that stuff. But it's all good. Like I said, I, I'm going to keep looking at it and see how things are going and figure out which one I'm going to cut out. Right. You know, because I know Josh and I have been talking about doing this for a while. Well, we were started doing it a long time ago, and then we stopped. So we'll see. And the artery says, skunk girl. Puts a whole bunch of hearts. Everybody's uh, loving life. Oh, well, I'm done with this piece. But now, she looks she looks decent. I'm happy. Yeah. She does. I'm happy with that. Oh, so man, everybody should be excited. The Josh, Chris, stretch goal has been unlocked. Everybody's gonna get the Josh, Chris trading card. This is amazing. Cool. I'm excited. I know. I was about to say it. I was about to ask you, how do you feel, Josh? I, I feel honored to even be part of the project. So I know the feeling. I am honored as well. You know, that's pretty amazing. 
I mean, I already own some Josh Chris originals. So, you know, <laughs> the Twitch person went, pst, that one person that was on Twitch is gone. No, <laughs> come back. No. You left because you called him out. Oh, man, is that what happened? Yeah. <laughs> they were waiting for you to start doing some body painting on yourself and uh, realize you no. were going to do it until they left. I no. Saw, I paid for that one. Too. Nope, that ain't <laughs> happening, man. <laughs> that ain't happening. I mean, I, I know that that uh, that uh, and Manny has done a, a full chest reveal once, and uh, he doesn't mind doing those kind of things. But you know, I, I, I'm gonna back away from that. You know, <laughs> I leave that to the pros. Leave that to the pros. Yeah. You know. I'm hosting you on Twitch now. Yay! That's the thing we gotta do too. Is anyone awesome. on Twitch, if, if they don't mind hosting your channel, yeah, it'll boost them and it'll help boost you. So if anyone's yeah. got Twitch out there and they can find your channel, if they're willing to host you, it builds up both of our channels and, and their channel. Nice, right? Yeah, I host uh, Jim Lee. <laughs> Yeah, I've done that a few times. He used not to that he, out. Now days he doesn't. You know, not that he needs any boosting. I was hosting hey. Bob Ross. Oh, yeah. But whatever helps your channel, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've all, I've been doing that on Twitch for a while. I don't think it's really done anything, you know. But then now that we're uh, that we're doing multicast streams. Who knows? Who knows what will happen, you know? I'm, I'm all yeah. for it. I'm all for experimenting. Man, if you don't mind, I'm going to click on Trusty for a second. Go to it. No, man, look at Trusty, man. Trusty doing big things. Yep. Trusty got big two things, socks. One little line at a time. <laughs> Trusty that, got the socks on. Yeah, that, that particular part of the um, piece has a lot of details. I noticed you packed a lot into that one. Yeah, I had a good reference oh. photo to use on that one. I was like, I, I don't know what to draw with this stuff. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that was that's a lot of details packed in there. Well, the main question we should be asking is what kind of socks are those? Um, they look like Walmart. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hanes? They are pretty cheap, pretty thin socks, that's for sure. <laughs> I tried using the, the blue gloves, you know, these. But my hands were sweating too much. Gotcha. Gotta put talcum powder in there, man. I guess. Ah, all right. You know. We did go to the big um, office supply catalogs in the office today. Mm -hmm. And I was flipping through them. And they have the little white cotton inspector's gloves. Right. You know, so I'm, I might get a pack of those and cut the fingertips off. That might work. Yeah. yeah I, I did that sometime in the past, and that worked all right. Oh. Uh. That might work. That might work. Let's, let me see what Mr. Joshua is working on. I'll just some more line. Nothing exciting until I finally get down to once I get down here. See, and Josh is like, I don't like using the small ones because I don't like to zoom in. And he's like zoomed into the microscopic level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, I, can I, I mean, I can get right down in here and be down to the pixel and be like, well, this is what I used to have to do. Right on the Surface Pro. I mean, I had to go pixel layer. Yeah, even closer sometimes, and trying to get that angle. Right, right. Zoom out, but you know, now, now I'm, at, I'm about this level right here, which isn't bad. You know, this is, you know, real close to leaning in on your paper. Yeah, that's what I tell people. You still zoom in a little bit, and you can get lost in the zoom ins. But yeah, you nothing's know. gonna happen exciting until once I get past this arm and Brawley's leg. I can right. Get here to where Gogeta is. Uh, um, I was going to ask if that was Gogeta. Yeah, I got inspired but, yeah. by that movie that had, that just came out. And I was like, you know what? Uh, I think it's time I, I do a new poster. And I got this guy coming. Um, and then I'm going to do, I've already got it penciled out. And I'm not even going to ink it by hand. I'm just going to ink it total digital yeah. um, of My Hero Academia. I'm, I'm right. going to finally do a poster of, of those. And that one, that one's I'm really excited about because the way I'm designing it is actually like a poster, not just a fight scene. Right. So, but uh, yeah, that'll have to come out 
that I'll start working on that after I get, I, I, I told Pope fire, I'd get this other commission out of the way. And then I start working on hers. Yeah. Hers didn't look too difficult. I think it should be. Yeah, I just had to do some, re- like I told her, I said, let me do some research on the character and stuff. Cause I've never seen the character before. And I watched a few videos on it. Creepy mm-hmm. characters all get out. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, so I was right. like, you know, I, that's fine. And she made a, a, a certain special request that she wants in it. And everyone could probably guess what's inside it. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, so I was like, that, that, that should be no problem. Right, right, right. All right. Back, back to Manny Licious. I'll come back here. And, uh, Marcus said, oh, Colonel says your hands do need to breathe. And Marcus says, Chango, the broken veil on Kickstarter. He got the good link. Yes. Thank you, Marcus. Awesome. You are you are amazing, brother. Is that a lady taking a selfie? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are oh, the my. SJWs, and I hate that on covers. But for <laughs> this, this particular uh, splash scene, it works. All right. It's taking a freaking selfie of them doing their arm wrestling. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah, so Mariah. Right. Go ahead. She's go ahead. Post it. She's gonna post it. <laughs> yeah. And Mariah says, maybe invest in old-fashioned white cotton gloves that people used back in the day to handle negatives. That's exactly it. They're called inspection gloves. There you go. Yep. I used to, I used to That's hate it. those because my pops used to use them whenever I wanted to go out for the weekend. You like, uh, you put on the white gloves and inspect the room, and if it didn't pass, guess what? I was grounded for the weekend. Uh oh. I hated those damn gloves. <laughs> oh my lord! I remember this from a while back. I don't know if this is the same scene. Well, it it used to be just. Yes, about ten of them. Right. It screw it. Then I kind of cut and paste, and I put in forty-five characters on this page. Wow. Yeah. So they get to be copyrighted all one time. Yeah. <laughs> now, I to read as a request for you. I'll let you read that on your own. And uh, Marania says, if I can find those for cheap, I may do that myself. Ah, <sighs> that's what. Art of Reed wants, we'll yeah. wants right there. So, <laughs> was that zoom in on the butt? Yeah, Dad, you want it. See, yeah. I, I was a young man and I had a lot of diversity in my comic books. Yeah. Huh? I see. Yeah, and this, I mean, that character was created back in the 80s. Yeah. All these characters are created when I was in high school. And these are pretty much their original costumes. I didn't change much to any of them. Mm-hmm. Right. That's back in the day when there were fun co- costumes. No pouches, you know. Got to have pouches though. Oh, pouches suck. We're going to we're going to we're really going to have to go remember pouches. Pouches. <laughs> their cell phone, extra batarangs. Right, right. Keys to the Batmobile. Key Oh, yeah. Gotta have all that stuff. Your bad credit card. <laughs> <laughs> A bad credit card. No, say it ain't so. Not the bad credit card. <laughs> it is a big scene. It's a double. If it's a, it's a double page spread. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So. This is pretty much. All the every single one of the SJWs. They were not called SJWs when I created them. <laughs> they, they were called the Sentinels. They were called the what? Sentinels. Yeah. Okay. But then again, you know, for legal reasons, I can't use that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that could be a problem. But you know, but when you're a uh, 12 year old kid, you don't know about these copyright laws and stuff, so that's what you call them. Yeah, Man, I'm gonna call it Sentinels. I even had a, a team called the Protectors, and then a couple years later, guess what? There's a comic book called The Protectors. Did you have any defenders in there? No, but I did have Sword, and you guys know I told you guys about what happened with Sword. I had to go change it a little bit. 
So mm-hmm. more people come after me. So yeah, yeah. Marvel, Marvel's a bully sometimes. Well, yeah, they like to come after people. It's it's called it's called the mouse is evil. People, come on. <laughs> I've been saying that for years. Just the mouse. Hmm. South Park had it right. <laughs> yep, South Park totally had it right. But I was saying that before the South Park. I was like, does people actually realize that they have you from cradle to grave? They have all the damn products. Mm-hmm. They have all the stations. Mm-hmm. They own a lot of the news networks. They own the sports yeah. networks. So. Yeah, they own ESPN. <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on, people. That's why I said, uh, you don't get that big and you don't get that much power. Come on. It's almost like a monopoly when you think about it. Yeah, it's like, oh, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna boycott this store and go to this other store because you're pissed. Well, too bad, cause I own that store too. Uh, you know, when they bought out the Muppets, was when it started, <laughs> way back in the '80s. <laughs> like, oh, this is not good. <laughs> too much power s- centralized. Mm-hmm. You know, they say power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts power absolutely. Yeah. That's what they say. I don't know how true or false that is, but that's what they say. Yeah, less than that, actually. Seven minutes, Marcus, but thank you for the reminder. Thank you for the reminder. I've been keeping an eye on it since I'm actually done done inking. And I kind of came out decent, kind of happy with it. You know, and uh, yeah. But then be on the lookout for tomorrow's freaking panel from hell. That thing had a seat, two city skylines in it. I was like, for real? Cars, miniature cars. I was like, man, this dude did too much on this book. Let's see. Maranya says, I use latex gloves when I refill my daler round me markers because ink goes everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> yes, it does. Maranya, but did you hit save before the ink goes everywhere? Because then you can undo. <laughs> you can undo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's like, what? No, what are you what are you talking about? Let's stop by Willis. <laughs> no, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just having a little bit of fun. Actually, I'm a little, you know, just chilling. Nah, man, it's good to be have a nice simple piece and just be like, okay. <laughs> and it's all good yeah. about that. Let's see. Uh, Marcus Gibbons is dropping the Indiegogo link. Yay. Thanks, Marcus. For the unbeatable skunk girl, because we're trying to get to that trusty psychic. Many the vanity stretch goal. Well, it's going to be there. It's just, will it get there before the campaign ends, or is it going to get there in in demand? I would like, I would like before the campaign ends, but I for sure in demand, you know? Because you get a whole bunch of people that start figuring out, like, oh, damn, he's going to fulfill now. He's going to take it out of demand. They start they start uh, buying after a while. Talk to a lot of people, and they get like 20 to 25% people come in after the campaign is over. Right. You know, some people just take their time. So right. Keep right, a right. positive outlook on it. You know, know that you're building something. We're building something here. Yeah, we're definitely, not, man. We're not just building one campaign. It's going to be campaign upon campaign upon campaign. Like I said, Skunk Girl number two, it's already in the making. You know, Already in the making, ladies already and gentlemen. Already in the making, and I, I need to get that uh, cover done because the cover for Skunk Girl number right. two is going to be in, in Skunk Girl number one. You know, nice. Yeah. Already in pre-production. And the artery says some people need to wait for the right payday. You right about that, man. I, we're not mad at those people. Nope. But yeah. speaking of speaking of paydays, there's four minutes till nine, which is my cutoff right. time. I know my stream was abbreviated because I had a snafu on the on the thing. But uh, <laughs> Shinobi Shinobi sidekick uh, Shinobi sidekick Shinobi raccoon. We're, not, we're amalgamated now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means, but yeah. So don't raccoon tell the people where you can be found. 
Okay, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, both at Shinobi Raccoon. For Twitter, you have to capitalize the S and the R, otherwise you are not going to get it. Um, I'd also, for those of you who have subscribed, I'd, I'd uploaded my first beat video. So check that out and tell me what you think. Maybe I'll do more of those. Nice. Hopefully they work out better for you than for me. I know for me it's not that all. <laughs> Pablo Romero says Manny Ortiz. Hey, I ain't mad at it, man. I like Manny. <laughs> Trust the sidekick kick of us. <laughs> all right. Well, you can find me at Trusty Sidekick Three on Twitter, at Trusty Sidekick Art on Instagram, on the Digital Bullpen Tuesdays and Thursdays, and on Good Dog Press's channel on Mondays and Friday nights. Nice. Well, Mariana, one day you'll you still have to hold a pen and pencil when you do uh, digital. So, yeah, yeah. I, I hope I hope that that you can hold a pen and pencil till the day that you go digital as well. Josh Chris Art. Hey, I'm Josh Chris Art. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at uh, Josh Chris Art, and of course I'm streaming with Manny and Jimmy whenever they're on the YouTube. Yes, sir. And that's usually uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays, 10 p.m. EST. And speaking of Manny, mm -hmm. oh, wrong one. There you go. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for having me on here. Uh, please go out there and go check out Skunk Girl. You know, there's there's uh, 10 more days uh, before it goes into in demand and, you know, Check it out. You know, tell a friend about it. I mean, we're doing great. I mean, we're up to up to eighty-four backers. It would be awesome to get over the hundred backers. That'll be greatest, greatest can be. Uh, you can find me here on Tuesday and Thursday nights, and usually on my show, ten p.m. Eastern. Uh, but this Friday, I think I'm going to go on a little bit later. We'll try some something, check it up a little bit. Try Is to try a little bit later, you know. So thanks for having me, and go check out Skunk Girl. It's, awesome. it's going to be a fun read. It's something you guys are going to want to read. It's not something that's like, oh, it's going to be boring. It ain't boring. It ain't a modern-day modern comic. It's a throwback to when comics were fun. I mean, you go to the comic store, and I was excited to buy X-Men number one, X-Men 137. You know, they were reprints, but I looked forward to reading those comics all over again. They were fun. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then, of course, my name is E. Ortiz. You can find me as E. Ortiz here on YouTube, colorblind underscore E on Twitter, and E. Ortiz Arts on Facebook and Instagram, where you can find a whole bunch of my, uh, hyperlapse videos that are only 30 seconds long of whatever I'm inking. Those are really short on Instagram, so you can spare 30 seconds of your life. Just you know, give it a, a like and a love and all that good stuff. I want to thank everybody, the panel, for joining. And I want to thank you guys in the audience for joining. I hope everybody has a great evening. God bless and good night. Aloha. Night. Bye-bye. <laughs>